Shelter, food and friendship a core business at Helen's Haven in Goodna, west of Brisbane. But with a food bank now doubling as a clinic, it's added encouraging vaccination and correcting misinformation to the list. Again, it's just a matter of turning that mental health around to a positive. So There's a lot of barriers that they have surviving in the community as it stands and getting the vaccination is actually an additional challenge. And they're at risk if they do catch COVID-19 um, of either having a serious illness or potentially also transmitting it. Charity providers say there are added challenges in trying to reach thousands of homeless across the region. Many are transient and unknown to social welfare. We have homeless people that can move around in a week, what most of us will do in two or three months, and they see a lot of people and they go a lot of places, but they need to be vaccinated. Conspiracy theories spread quickly. Some people who are living on the streets or rough sleepers, um, they might have a schizoaffective disorder, so they might be more vulnerable to paranoia or um, the misinformation that's going around. It's hard to know the numbers of rough sleepers that have managed to get vaccinated already. But with pharmacies now able to administer the vaccine, it's hoped education can help reduce the barriers to getting the jab. I wasn't sure about the vaccine, but now I've had it, I'm fine. The more people who get vaccinated from within a particular community, the more they can talk about their experience, the more they can sort of say, look, this wasn't that scary. Social justice group Mica Projects has helped around 70 rough sleepers get vaccinated. We're really advocating strongly that we need to embed healthcare and housing with community services. We need to make sure that we can reduce the inequality. With a cut in red tape, the street doctor will soon provide vaccinations. And as the state supply increases, on the ground, there's a healthy dose of optimism. Governments rallied during COVID and managed to house a lot of homeless people. So it can be done. Baz Ruddick, ABC News.